Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie back with another video where I help you to grow your YouTube channel from zero. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through my entire routine of planning, filming, editing, and uploading my videos to YouTube and all of the little hacks, tips, and tricks I've used to take what used to be a two-day process and make it now a less than two-hour process. So for all those of you guys who have another job or you're a full-time student or you have a family at home and you are seriously lacking in time Time to make videos for your YouTube channel, hopefully at least a few of these tips can help you to make your process a whole lot easier. Also, today's video shout out goes out to Sophia the Panda. Thank you so much for being an active, supportive member of my YouTube family. It means the world to me. And now without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump right into it. So starting off with planning. So planning is something I used to literally do the day of. When I was ready to sit down and film, I would spend forever trying to find a video idea, coming up with what I was going to say, what I was going to talk about, and it could take hours for me to find an idea and then sit down and plan it. So now I have my best friend's video master list and video outlines. So now I have these little like video planning sessions where I will literally sit down for an hour or two and I will find like a bajillion video ideas and make like a master list. And then for each one of those ideas, I'll go ahead and plan and outline the videos. Then all I have to do on my filming days when I actually have time to film is I will just grab my my master list, pick a video, I find the outline that corresponds and I just sit down and film. No more wasting all that time trying to find a video idea and planning out the video because it's already done for me from beforehand. So that is the first thing that has saved me a whole lot of time. So then we have the filming stage of my process. So as far as setting up all of my filming equipment, there really isn't too too much for me to do. My camera is always on my tripod so I just have to kind of like position my camera in front of my chair. As far as my lighting, I just use my ring light. So I position my ring light behind my camera and turn it on. Then I just have to stick my microphone into my laptop and hook it up onto my shirt. And then I am good to go filming wise. Now for the actual filming process, this used to take me hours upon hours on end, sometimes even days, because I was literally talking off the top of my head with no plans, no outlines, no structure, no nothing. I just knew what I wanted to talk about. I would sit down and just talk about it off the top of my head, which resulted in rambling and making mistakes and going off on tangents, then having to restart and restart and restart until I finally got it right, which took hours, even days to go through that entire film process. So as I said, now I have video outlines for my videos where I have all of my talking points and my sub points actually written out on my outlines to have in front of me while I'm filming. So I have my video outline right here in my hand on my phone. So as I'm going through and making this video, I can reference my outline with my main points and sub points. I stay on track. I don't ramble, don't go off on tangents, and my video stays much more organized. And even some of you guys have been commenting on my videos that my videos flow super, super naturally and super quickly. And I hook you guys from the beginning and keep you hooked all the way through. And that you guys can so easily watch my entire video because it flows that naturally and that quickly, which is a huge plus for my videos because that means I'm getting better audience retention and better watch time, which is of course very, very good for the algorithm and the growth of my videos and channel. But the best part of this whole filming process is that it literally takes me less than 10 to 20 minutes for each one of my videos. And I can have dedicated film filming days and get like four or five videos done in less than a day. I wish I had this whole filming process figured out back in college because like I said, I spent days upon days filming videos and I could have had a bunch of videos done in one day had I had this process from the beginning. So that is how I get my videos filmed so fast and how I get out a lot of videos so quickly. So then the next step in my process is editing. Now my editing process and workflow is where I've probably saved the most amount of time in my entire entire process. I used to edit my videos for days at a time. I was lucky if I got a video finished in two days. Now that I've got my whole like editing workflow figured out and it's kind of like a mental checklist in my head of each step in my editing, what used to take me two days takes me less than 45 minutes. If I say I imported my clips, I color correct, I rough cut, I add transitions, add titles, add music and export, it sounds really, really simple and dumbed down. But in my head and workflow, that is literally literally how fast it goes by. I've had this routine so down packed for so long that I can literally just sit down at my computer, start my workflow and have it finished in 45 minutes or less. Now one editing workflow tip I can give you guys that has cut down so much of my editing time is when 
when you are rough cutting, use these sound waves as a reference point. So if you guys rough cut your videos, you know that you cut out the awkward pauses, the deep breaths you take, or the mess ups or whatever. For editing, as you're doing your rough cut, look at the sound waves of you talking. Where there's no sound, you know that's where you want to cut and cut stuff out. So instead of having to watch the video, pause and cut, and play and cut, and pause and cut, and like all the way through, that takes so much time and it's so tedious. So by following these sound waves of my video, I can get my rough cut done so much faster and get my editing done so much faster to move on to the next video. And then my second tip for making your editing a lot faster is to learn all of your keyboard shortcuts. Knowing all of my shortcuts for like the cutting tool and shortening and copying and pasting and all of that, knowing all my keyboard shortcuts and teaching my fingers where the keys are has cut down so much time and made editing so much easier. But definitely cutting down my editing time is where I've taken back the majority of my time in this whole video making process. So then once I'm done editing my video, the next step in the process is uploading and or scheduling. So typically I will upload and schedule my videos probably about a day or two before they're actually set to go live on the channel in case I have to fix something or change something and don't want to be left to the last minute. So I will first upload the video to YouTube and then as it's uploading, I go into keyword research. So this is where I use the TubeBuddy extension in the Keyword Explorer tool to find the best possible keyword for me to use as my title to rank in search. So this can be a bit of a lengthy process if finding the best keyword takes a bit of time, but definitely in having TubeBuddy and having all those like suggested and recommended tags definitely, definitely cuts down on the process and makes finding the perfect keyword much easier. So once I've done all my research and found the perfect keyword, I go back into my uploader and then I will put that in the title of the video as well as the first tag in my tag box. So then once I put in the title and my first tag, then I go down to the suggested tag section. Then I use the rest of the suggested tags with the keyword rankings and scores to figure out which ones I want to include in my tag box and title. Then once I filled up all of my 500 characters of my tag box, then I take as many of them as possible and form that into a natural sounding and flowing description for my description box again to optimize my video to rank in search. So then once I'm done all of my optimizing and my SEO setup, then all I have to do is set up all of my monetization settings and then actually set the scheduled upload day. And then all that's left to do is make my thumbnail. Now editing my thumbnail is another step in my process that used to take so much time because for the longest time, I didn't really have any one set sort of like style for my thumbnails. Now that I have a much more like signature look to my thumbnails and I sort of know my whole thumbnail editing process, just like my video editing process, it goes by a lot faster. So all I do for this while the video is uploading is I take the few thumbnail pictures I've taken and put them on my phone. Then I use Lightroom Mobile to put my preset on my thumbnail picture. I will then airdrop it back onto my computer and put it into Photoshop. Now Photoshop is where I do the bulk of my thumbnail editing. So adding the like rectangle around my picture, adding all of my overlays and my text and everything, that is all done within Photoshop. And again, because I know my whole like editing workflow for thumbnails and have like a mental checklist of my thumbnail editing, I get that done a whole lot faster. So then once I'm done editing my thumbnail, I then export that onto my computer and then upload it to my video before scheduling my video to upload. So then once I have scheduled my video, then the very last thing I do is go back onto my channel and watch the video to make sure that the thumbnail fits and the video looks good, the audio is good, all of the like overlays are perfect, no like text mistakes because I make those like all the time. So again, just to make sure that everything is perfect and set up exactly as I want it to. And then that is pretty much the entirety of my video creation process and my workflow. So even though that was like a lot of detail and I made it sound super, super long, that is pretty much about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours if it's a really, really long video. But I have definitely used all of these tips and tricks and methods to take a two or three day process into a 45 minute at most two hour process. So hopefully if consistency or finding time for making videos is something you've been struggling with, then I hope at least one of these tips is able to help you to cut back on your filming time or editing time and get videos done a whole lot faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!